Hi, this is Colin Richards, president and founder of Lord & Richards, and we're helping people just like you every single day to achieve financial independence. And we're doing that from a biblical point of view. Here at Lord & Richards, we love meeting with folks who are in or near retirement and who are looking for a plan to achieve financial independence so they can retire without worry. That's what we do. And today, we're talking about, in this particular segment, the advice that is floating around out there in the midst of all the volatility that we're seeing in our markets, in our economy, in the global political situation. It's all incredibly volatile. And one of the things that I often speak to my clients about is how you can create sort of a bubble, an economic bubble, not to deny reality or to stick your head into the sand, but to insulate yourself from the bad decisions that are going on in the world, whether they're being made by governments, whether they're being made by corporate leadership, or wherever it may be coming from. One of the bad things that we're seeing happen is that people who really don't know what the future holds are attempting to predict it and to get you to act on their advice and predictions. People that we see on TV or perhaps that you're sitting down with are calling the bottom of the bear market. They're saying, okay, it's all over. Well, that may well be, but we don't know that because others are saying the opposite. Well, the worst is yet to come. And you could be literally paralyzed by indecision in the same way that a deer gets in front of a car and freezes up in the headlights. We don't want that to happen to you. One of the worst things you can do is react in the middle of a crisis because you didn't have a plan to deal with that crisis in advance. Here in Colorado, we deal with wildfires all the time, especially up in the foothills, but we've seen them come down now into the metro areas, and they're incredibly dangerous. Well, one of the things that we're told by emergency personnel is to have a go bag, a bag ready and planned and prepared. Do you know what you're going to do if a wildfire suddenly comes into your area? Because it can come without warning. Well, those who enter the current financial crisis without a plan are really panicking, I think. I think we see a lot of that. But what we don't want you to do is panic. What we want you to do is sit down right now if you don't have a plan and we want you to develop one because a plan will save you from making really bad decisions and listening to all these different people that are contradicting one another. For example, in addition to market calling, we're seeing people doing interest rate calling. Some see that the Fed's interest rates um, increases are going to taper off because now we're starting to see signs of slowing growth, such as banks are laying people off as deals start to dry up. Car companies like Tesla are laying people off. Crypto companies out on the fringes are laying people off. Building is slowing down. If you've tried to build anything, you know costs are through the roof if you're trying to remodel. And really interesting story that came up this past week is Bed Bath & Beyond has been found by analysts who are visiting their properties on site to be raising the temperature in the warm summer months to save money on air conditioning because their company is in bad shape. Wow. Well, that seems to lend a lot of credence to the idea that, well, maybe the Fed should slow down. But you know what? Others are, are pointing out that the Fed is determined and will do whatever it takes, even if it drops our markets all the way to zero, to curb inflation, which is soaring over 8%. And it's way worse than that. Many of you know it's way worse than that in everyday life. That's just a broad indicator. But if you've purchased food, meat, if you've, again, tried to remodel something, you're discovering, wow, prices have gone up substantially more than 8%. Look at fuel prices and so on. I remember back in 2008, as I was helping people, waves of conflicting advice about the markets coming out. Some people referring to the market's nosedive said, no, 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 we're, we're in it for the long haul, buy and hold. Well, buy and hold may be a strategy if it's accompanied by a plan that says these are the exact investments you should hold for the long run. But a lot of people had no plan, and it was merely the whim of the advisor or the whim of the broker at the moment. Others would say, well, don't worry about it. It's just a correction before watching the S&P 500 slide 55% off its highs and collectively wipe out more than half of America's retirement wealth. How about this one. It's too late to get out now. I mean, it's already gone so far. You might as well just hold on. Consumers were actually trying to time this thing. And one of the signs, I hate to say this, but one of the signs that markets have really gotten close to the bottom, if not reached it, 
is when consumers, the last in the line, finally throw in the tail and bow out of their investments, go to cash. And then it's typically a sign that the markets are now going to rebound now that the consumer, the retail investor, has gotten out. Don't be that person. What's the alternative to all this conflicting advice? Well, do you have a written plan that addresses every important area of your retirement? Do you have a plan that addresses the risk that you may be taking in the market and how to mitigate that? That's what we do as part of our financial independence review is make sure you're not carrying too much risk. I'll tell you, a lot of people I'm talking to are not interested in seeing their portfolios cut in half, not even to support an old adage like buy and hold. In addition to the markets, do you have a written plan that addresses how to make sure your money never runs out? Is your budget, your income and expenses in alignment is it in balance so that you won't run out of money? And will your portfolio's risk level potentially affect when you run out of money by causing you to draw on risk assets when you're supposed to be letting them recover? Do you have a health plan? Do you have a plan to make sure that if you or your loved one gets sick, that you've got the assets to cover that without entering bankruptcy? The number one cause of bankruptcy in retirement is inability to cover the cost of chronic illness or long-term care. How about this one? Do you have a written estate plan? Most people don't. It's surprising to me. But allowing yourself to pass away what we call intestate and force the state to subscribe your, uh, uh, your estate to a prescribed formula of who gets what, to me, that's just an awful thing, and it's a reflection that we haven't taken the steps. Do you have a written estate plan so that the assets you've built up over the years go where you want them when you pass on? And then finally, you know, we've kind of lost sight of the tremendous battle that has been fought in the area of taxes, and many people recognize that that has not gone off the radar. It may have gotten subdued by other agendas and the market correction and interest rates, but there is still a legislature in Washington. There is still an executive branch in Washington that is determined to raise taxes on you, whether you're in the middle class or not. Okay, All that stuff about not raising it on the middle class is not feasible. One of the biggest proposals is to get rid of the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, which effectively lowered almost every American's tax rate. And so, folks, having a written plan to address these and other areas, we've talked about biblical responsible investing, BRI. Does your plan reflect your biblical values? So having a plan to address all of these things and to make certain to a high degree that you will retire financially independent, well, that's at the core of not getting confused or even frozen up by all of this conflicting advice. Well, at Lord & Richards, we're helping people just like you every single day to retire without worry and to retire financially independent. I'd love to help you. My team and I are doing this for people just like you. All it takes is a little conversation to discuss your goals and values and develop a plan to make sure you achieve them.